Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another vlog style, what I eat in a day for weight loss. I uploaded one of these a couple of weeks ago and you guys really loved it. So it was only right that I bring you guys another one. If you've been keeping up with my weight loss journey, you guys know that in April I made so much progress. I hit my goal weight of 160 pounds, which I haven't seen that number on the scale since maybe like what? Freshman or sophomore year of college. So that was a huge milestone for me. But as soon as May hit, you guys, your girl fell off the wagon. I went from eating super clean and working out daily to eating crab legs and pasta, brownies, candy, soda, Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A, you name it, I was eating it and I definitely have paid for it. Not only has my weight <laughs> gone up since then, but I have had a lot of breakouts that I've been having to deal with and I've also had zero energy. Not having any energy means that I haven't been going to the gym. So when I fell off the wagon, like I fell off and got left behind. I'm sick of myself, I've had enough, it is time to get back on track. This morning and also the last couple of mornings, I've been starting my days off with my tea meat detox tea and I'm super happy to share with you guys that tea meat is actually sponsoring today's video. What I love about drinking a detox tea first thing in the morning is not only does it give me a boost of energy and especially that boost that I need to get through my morning workouts but it also helps to fight cravings and keep me satisfied until it's time to break my fast so I'm gonna show you guys how I make it it is super easy and I'm sure you guys are going to want to incorporate this into your morning routines as well let me go ahead and power up my carrot so I have right here my tea me 30 day detox kit and this comes with their skinny tea and also their colon tea. Now, whenever I start a 30 day detox, I don't do both teas immediately. I focus on just using the skinny tea for the first two weeks to get my body used to being detoxed. And then on the third week, I start to incorporate the colon tea. So now the carrot is preheated and ready to go. It is time to prepare the tea. So here is my teamy tumbler. So I'm just going to take the lid off pop out the little filter and then unscrew the inside compartment and then just set the cup here and we're going to do eight ounces of hot water now that our hot water is ready to go before i reassemble the tumbler i'm going to go ahead and add in my tea leaves and it doesn't look like very much but it is going to expand I'm just going to dump it over in the water. Now I'm going to go ahead and reassemble the tumbler. So taking this little inner compartment, I'm going to set it over inside and then just screw it in. And this strainer here is what is going to keep you from swallowing chunks of tea leaves as you're drinking this detox tea. And then grabbing my lid, you actually want to pop the lid open before you place it back on top of the tumbler with this being hot water it is going to build up pressure if you keep it close you don't want to do that so make sure it's open and then screw it back on so you guys i have let the tumbler set for about seven minutes and you can definitely see that the tea leaves have expanded and the water is slightly tinted so now it is ready to drink if you guys are interested in joining me for this 30 day detox with the tea me i do have a code for you guys to save a few coins it is Catherine. 20 and I will have a link down below so you guys can shop super easily. I'm back so I have finished up my tea. When I was talking to you guys I think it was around like 8:30 ish so right now it is 11 a.m and I'm going to go ahead and break my fast and have my first meal of the day so we're about to have some breakfast. I think that we're gonna do maybe just some eggs because you know you can't go wrong with eggs zero carbs super high in protein so just set those there and then i also picked up some jimmy dean turkey sausages which i haven't had these in forever but i just got super burned out on turkey bacon so i just wanted to change it up a little bit and as usual we're also going to do some fruit i think we're just going to stick with blueberries because i don't feel like dealing with any strawberries right now today i think that i'm going to use three eggs but only one yolk
so now you guys I am plating my food I already threw the eggs on there now I'm going to add the blueberries and these blueberries are huge <laughs> like this does not <laughs> look natural then my turkey sausage is nice and browned has those nice little cook marks on it and I'm just gonna toss those babies on there so here is today's breakfast three egg whites with one egg yolk two turkey sausages and then about a handful of blueberries all the macros for this meal will be on the screen and i'm about to dive in y'all mm -mm -mm. oh those blueberries are so sour man that's the thing with fruit like you never know if you're going to get some really sweet fruit or some really sour fruit i definitely feel like i do enjoy eating turkey bacon more than turkey sausage but i just need to change things up you guys like i was just like so so burned out i guess i will check in with you guys when it is time for lunch i don't know what i'm going to have for lunch i don't know if i want to make a smoothie if I'm gonna go get an acai bowl from like juice bar, if I wanna go ahead and cook something early and then have a smoothie for dinner, like I don't really know. But um, you guys will see what I decide in just a sec. Hey guys, I am back for another meal. So now it is time for our lunch. When I was last talking to you guys, I was trying to figure out what exactly I was going to have. I think that I decided that I'm going to go ahead and get my cooking out of the way now so I can pretty much be done in the kitchen. What we're gonna have for lunch today is my own personal spin on like hibachi stir fry. I'm going to make some teriyaki shrimp with some stir fry vegetables. And I don't know if I'm gonna do white rice or brown rice. I feel like I'm leaning more towards white rice because that's just what I prefer. I'm just going to kind of run through everything really quick so you guys can understand what I'm doing. For this meal right here, I'm going to try to hit the recommended macros according to my LifeSum app. So I went ahead and entered this meal in before I even made it so I can know exactly how much I need to eat. Okay, so I have my shrimp right here. I also have some stir fry veggies. I have my avocado oil right here. I'm going to use this to cook the shrimp and cook the vegetables in. These ingredients on their own, these veggies, this shrimp, even these sauces and the rice are low fat. So I really want to add in some fat to make sure I'm getting everything that I need. The two sauces, they're pretty low carb, I think. One teaspoon or tablespoon is like five carbs. Not too terrible. I'm going to use it to cook my shrimp in and also add a little bit to the veggies. The first thing that I want to do is get my rice cooking. So that's what's going on right here. I have this little rice cooker. I think that I got this maybe from ooh, TJ Maxx, Marshall, something like that. So I have the shrimp here. I think that I measured out exactly four ounces. Now I'm just plating my food. So I'm just gonna add the rice on there. And this is exactly three ounces of rice. 
So now I'm going to plate my veggies. So the entire bag has four servings. I'm going to eat half of that. So about two servings, which is going to be about 60 calories. Adding the sauce in does up that from about 60 to maybe close to 100 something calories. But definitely not terrible. And so then last but not least, add the shrimp. And there we have it, you guys. So our good old shrimp, rice, and stir fry veggie meal. This meal averages around 575 calories to about 600, depending on the amount of sauce you use and the amount of rice you eat. But the shrimp and veggies are pretty low calorie. So here we go, you guys. I've been binge watching Eonla fix my life because I just don't have anything else to watch but now like I'm really intrigued by some of these guests on her show so that's what we're doing so I'm going to I guess enjoy my lunch and I will check in with you guys in a little bit um I don't know if it'll be for my smoothie for dinner or for my snack but Either way, I'll see you guys in a sec. What it do, you guys? I'm back again. So now I'm about to make my dinner. I'm actually not super hungry. The meal that I had for lunch was very, very filling. So I think a smoothie is more than appropriate for my dinner meal. It is right at 6 o'clock. And my mom's about to come over. I think we're going to just like go out and do some shopping and stuff like that. So this is going to be a light meal that is also going to be able to be taken on the go so perfect for right now so here are all of my ingredients ready to go i have 80 grams of blueberries 80 grams of banana because i want this to taste like a blueberry banana type of like what is it called at smoothie king the blueberry heaven smoothie i haven't had one of those in forever but i kind of want to channel that today so i kind of went blueberry and banana heavy um, more so than i normally would i also have 30 grams of spinach and then about 40 grams of celery i also have my um almond milk here and then my women's best protein I'm grabbing my food scale and I'm using this just to measure out the amount of protein and then the amount of liquid that I'm using today. I already logged everything into my app so I need to go in and see exactly how much I'm going to be putting in here today. For the almond milk it looks like I'm doing 8.5 fluid ounces so essentially one serving. Oh my gosh, is my refrigerator so cold that this has like semi like froze? Yeah, you can definitely hear ice in there. That is so weird. All right, anyway. And then for the protein, I have 25 grams um, put in the app. So here is my smoothie, you guys. It is ready to go. I got this cute cold cup from like the Starbucks inside of Target. They always have the cutest cups. And I mean, just look at this. So pretty good, you guys. Like I said, I was trying to embody the Smoothie King Blueberry Heaven. Mine is definitely not as sweet as theirs, but I think that they add like an artificial sweetener in their smoothies so that probably explains that but nonetheless it's still really good so this smoothie right here is about i think about 300 calories so definitely perfect for a dinner meal and i do have about 300 calories still left for the day that i can eat i'm also going to take this chobani flip as well i don't know how long 
will be out but if i do get to craving something this is what i'm going to have a lot of times i'll save my chobani flips for at night when i'm craving something sweet and i just can't go to bed before i have like something chocolatey this one right here is 210 calories and it does have um, vanilla low-fat Greek yogurt with peanuts, peanut butter clusters, and milk chocolate. So I get my chocolate fix, but then I'm also getting in the health benefits of eating Greek yogurt. I don't know if I'll be able to check in with you guys again today with my meals and stuff. So I want to go ahead and show you guys this yogurt. I don't know if I'm going to eat it while I'm out with my mom or just save it for when I get back, when I need that like nighttime snack, but that's pretty much what I eat when I have those cravings. I hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a day for weight loss video. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you guys want to join me on that 30 day detox that I'm doing with Team Me, definitely be sure to use my coupon code CAFFIN25 to save some money. And also the link for it will be down below in the description box. You guys can shop super easily. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one.